Let's line up and find out why the Coast Merchant is such a popular place to go. I'm not sure I get it, but we'll find out. When we first came to the Shambles, we saw this massive lineup and we thought like it had something to do with Harry Potter, but it's definitely my, my thing, like what I thought. And then we saw that it was the York Ghost Merchants and we had, were very confused because we just didn't understand what the We still don't really was. understand what it is. Yeah. And so we came to the lineup and we're like, I don't think I want to do this because that looks like the lineup wasn't just one lineup long, it was like two yeah. different lineups long. There's the queue and then there's the queue queue. Yeah. And we were just not willing to commit that for a store that we didn't really quite understand. So we ended up going home and having to do a little bit of research for it. And because York is so well known for its kind of ghostly past. Most um, smoky town in Europe. Yeah. We decided, all right, you know what, we want to know more about this, so we're going to go, we're going to do the lineup. So we're one of those people in our life, and we're like, this is crazy, I don't understand. <laughs> we are here to really find out what it is behind, like, the, behind the excitement of this place. What is all the fuss about? What is all the fuss about? Let's find out. So we are in the official lineup now, just outside of the store. We were back there at the wall. <laughs> they just need to keep a, a gap in space for people. So we're moved up about half an hour after the store opened. We have moved to the more official line. So I have a feeling it's going to be another half an hour or more <laughs> before we get it. I'm here with Miss Ambrose from the Ghost Merchant Shop here on at the Shambles. A lot of people are enamored with our ghosts because we hand make them as souvenirs in our workshop that's upstairs and then we sell them downstairs. They're made of a natural York material and it represents York and its famously haunted history. So it's not something that you can really find anywhere else. It's not like a plastic bobblehead of Queen Elizabeth or a mug that says London. It's something that's handmade and very unique to the city and a lot of people just really like them. <laughs> it goes so well because York is known as like the most haunted city in the UK, yes, so we feel like it kind of really embraces that yes. that kind of part of York. And I think the nice thing about it, at least like for us, and like what I kind of enjoy about it, is that it's while ah, I feel like it could kind of fit in with the people who enjoy Harry Potter, it is not a Harry Potter. Thing. No, it's not a Harry Whereas like York is so like I feel like probably a lot of tourism has been so focused heavily on Harry Potter. Yes. That, I mean I love I love Harry Potter <laughs> and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, but no, I'm also, I agree. I like that there's actually still this bit that's kind of more yeah, authentic to York itself as opposed to just attached to the story. Yes. So, so with our uniform and everything else and everything yes. that we wear is a similar style to what the merchants who used to work on the shambles and trade and sell would wear. Cool. So we're trying to keep that historical piece of York in our business alive. It used to be a butcher street and a lot of people like to come down here and see you can't really see that anymore. No, there <laughs> really see the meat hooks and everything yes. else. But I think I've seen like outside of some of the stores that they have the almost like what yeah, you see at the bottom. They're called shamels. It's shamels. a little okay. thing uh, for flesh shamel, which is what they used to just put the meat on as display. Right. But we still have all of them, <laughs> which nice. is quite cool. Yeah, it's very yeah, very historic. And and just you know, just not with all the meat on. No, not with all the meat on him. Uh, and, and the gore in the streets, now. which was just awful. That's, yeah. that's right, the gore well, in the streets all of this. That's why all of the streets this. here are at that sort of angle, because yeah. they used to brush the blood out of the doors and into here and just flush it out through the drains. <laughs> so gross. So, yeah, if you can imagine, it probably smelled really bad down here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. That's I appreciate right. it. Thank you. Inside scoop from overhearing the person who works here is that apparently the queue isn't uh, very bad on Tuesdays for some reason. It seems like such a random day, but come on a Tuesday if you can. Um, and summer holidays just tends to be really bad. So that's probably true in everything in Europe. The reason why it's so popular in, in some respect is because it went viral on TikTok. The one good thing about queues is that sometimes you get to like line up with people that are pretty cool. This is Lottie and Dave. So we got to just spend the last hour in the queue, almost ready to go into the store. We're pretty excited. They've threatened to buy every ghost in there. Um, so we're just not sure. <laughs> it'll be <laughs> Yeah, we'll be when we get in there. But yes, so the one nice thing about queues is sometimes you meet some pretty cool people. I agree. <laughs> Thank you.
secrets and surprises on the right hand side. So there's little keep holes and spy holes to glance through. Little photo booth as well, so you can pose your ghost in the moonlight, get a few snapshots. Nice. And then £17 for the original York ghost there, the slightly larger. And £9 for the small ones there. That's a few rare unusuals, individually priced in the glass cabinets. Very hard wearing. Okay. <laughs> what is it made out of? It is a trade secret known only oh. to ghost merchants. Yes. Interesting. Okay. So it is a very hard wearing British material, non toxic, water based. Okay. About an hour and a half later, we have gone in and went through the ghost merchant and we want to give our thoughts whether or not we think it was worth the long wait. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> was it worth it? No. No? I think... What was it, fun? Yes. I think it's interesting. I think that if you're the type of person who just really wants to get in and see this thing that everybody is wanting to see, if you really don't mind lineups and for you it is kind of a joy in being part of that community of people who have seen this thing and are good at you know making friends in lineups so maybe it's not so boring and all that kind of stuff then I think you could probably have fun and it's enjoyable to go in. Um, yeah I, I would have really liked the shop if I hadn't waited in a very long lineup for it. Yeah, Absolutely. like if you were just kind of popping into the shop and seeing the stuff, you'd be like, oh, this is so cool, what a cute little shop, which is, again, then why everybody has all, there's such a long lineup in there. But it is hard with kids. Wilder, did get, you think it was worth it? They get a little yeah. antsy. Wilder uh, thought it was worth it. There's, there's something to it, because there's so many people who want to come see it. So, mm. I don't know, what you saw in the video, do you think it was worth, would be worth it? Comment below. We're going to show you some spooky magical and kid-friendly places to see in York. So stay tuned, subscribe below, and we'll see you every further mile.